Hello, my dear friends. Today I have brought before you all an extremely important video which is on Walt Whitman. He is an American poet, dramatist, who is well known for receiving numerous awards. And as an UGC and KVS aspirant, we cannot think of preparing for it without discussing him. So without wasting time, let's begin. Walt Whitman was American poet, essayist and journalist. He was born on 31st May 1819 at West Hills, New York, United States. When we talk about awards, he had received Golden Kite Award for Picture Book Illustration. He died on March 26, 1892 at Camden, New Jersey, United States. His first poetry that we are going to discuss is O Captain, My Captain. And this poetry is not unknown to anyone. O Captain, My Captain is renowned poem written by Walt Whitman was one of the 18 poems written with the background of the Civil War in America. It was first published in 1865 in a pamphlet named Sequel to Drum Taps. This poem having historical value was written as a tribute to Abraham Lincoln, the American president whom Whitman used to admire. Since then, it has gained a lot of popularity across the globe on account of its artistic merit. O Captain, My Captain, as is an allergy. This poem is written in the form of an elegy, meaning a funeral song. Whitman used very strong figurative language throughout the poem to express his respect and to mourn the loss of Abraham Lincoln. The expression of mourning and grief mark the center of the poem. However, what stays in the mind of the readers is the speaker's passionate expression of his love for his dead captain. Here we will talk about literary devices. There are three extended metaphors in the poem. First one is captain, which is used throughout the poem. Here captain represents Abraham Lincoln who loses his life in the battle. The second metaphor is voyage, which represents the civil war. The journey of the voyage is full of tests and trials, but now the ship is nearing the port represents the timeline of the civil war. The third metaphor, ship, represents the United States that has undergone the civil war. Whitman has used personification to give human qualities to lifeless objects. It has personified the walk of the speaker as a mournful tread because he cannot live without his captain. He has also personified source in line 21 where it is stated, Exult, O shores, as if the shores are humans and they are going to blow trumpets of victory. Imagery. Imagery appeals to the five senses of the readers. The poet has used visual imagery such as cold and dead, lips are pale and still, bleeding drops of red and mournful tread. Whitman's choice of powerful words has made the reader visualize the death of the captain. An epistrophe is a device used to call somebody or something from afar. Here the poet has used an epistrophe to call his dead captain. The phrase, O Captain, my captain, expresses love and attachment of the speaker with his captain. Alliteration. Flag is flung safe and sound. 
here we find alliteration consonants flag is flung assonance ship and trip highlighter of the poem in the poem there are three stanzas with each stanza having eight verses double quatrain quatrain refers to four line stanza whereas double quatrain refers to eight line stanza there are eight lines in each stanza in this poem but the first four and last four lines are embedded together with the different meters heroic couplet walt whitman has written this poem in the form of heroic couplet but he has broken the last two stanzas into four lines each using the conventional meters and end rhyme rhyme in the poetry the poem follows a a b b c d e d with some internal rhymes however the poem the poet has not followed a specific rhyme scheme in the entire poem next is scansen it refers to a poem that does not follow a traditional or patterned meter although the meter is mainly iambic there are many inconsistencies here hence it is scansen in structure refrain the lines repeated at some distance in the poems are called refrain in o captain my captain and fallen cold and dead poet used in the first and last stanza is a refrain that has built a sort of tension in the poem next is repetition repetition here we find of these phrases fallen cold and dead and o captain my captain which have created the required musical quality in the poem next poetry is a noiseless patient spider this poem was written by walt whitman a great american poet a noiseless patient spider is famous for its theme themes of isolation and structure it was first published in 1891 The poem unfolds the story of a lonely spider which this poet examines so carefully. It illustrates how the spider tries to connect things while weaving its web. The poem unfolds the story of a lonely spider which the poet examines carefully. It illustrates how the spider tries to connect things while weaving its web the speaker illustrates two things the struggle of the spider and the condition of his soul at the outset he provides a graphic picture that the spider all alone on a little promontory casts out its web threads in a vast surrounding he discusses its isolation and detachment from the rest of the world later he compares his soul with that spider he says that his soul is also struggling to seek spheres that can connect the speaker to the immeasurable world unlike a spider his soul is seeking is a seeker trying to attach itself to the vacant surroundings Ephestrop, and you, O oh my soul, where you stand, is used for expressing surprise and amazement by calling the soul. A human soul is not in a visible dimension. Imagery, I marked where on a little promontory is. stood isolated surrounded detached it me- measureless oceans of space and this patient spider sonification and you o oh my soul where you stand here the soul is compared to human who can stand or sit down 
alliteration it launched forth filament 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 out of itself hyperbole surrounded detached in measureless ocean of space this verse is hyperbole as it exaggerates the amount of space surrounding the spider the poet has used the words surrounded and detached both represent opposite things in the following verses surrounded detached in meaningless oceans of space highlighter of the poem there are two stanzas in the poem each comprises of four five lines a quintet is a five lined stanza in poetry there are two quintets in this poem free verse is a type of poetry that does not contain patterns of rhyme or meter this is a free verse poem with no strict rhyme scheme or meter next poetry is when i heard the learned astronomer walt whitman a renowned american poet journalist and essayist wrote this poetry it is a short narrative poem about learning against experiencing it was first published in 1867 the poem given an account the poem gives an account of the speaker's experience of listening to a tiring lecture of an astronomer it also illustrates that the mystery of nature cannot be summed up in facts and figures The poet explains that true knowledge can be gained when we observe the sky in solitude. The poem presents a stark comparison between scientific knowledge and cosmic reality. The spider is listening to astronomer explaining facts about stars using several mathematical tools, charts, diagrams and columns. The audience appreciates his knowledge and ways of explanation. The speaker becomes tired because of the uninteresting and monotonous lecture. He seems more fascinated by the beautiful stars than the proofs and evidences about stars. The poem conveys that wisdom does not rely on man-made mathematical interpretations. One must walk into the lap of nature to understand mystery. Anaphora. When I is repeated in the opening line of the poem, emphasize the poet's point of view. When I heard the learned astronomer when the proofs the figures were arranged in columns before me when i was shown the charts and diagrams to add divide and measure them when i sitting heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room imagery when the proofs the figures were arranged were arranged in columns before me when i was shown the charts and diagrams to add divide and measure them when i sitting heard the astronomer where the lectures where the lectured with much applause in the lecture room assonance when i heard the learned astronomer and 
still rising and gliding and wanders wandered off by myself consonants when i heard the learned astronomer when i was shown the charts and diagrams to add divide and measure them alliteration in the mystical moist night air and from time to time hyperbole is a device used to exaggerate any statement for the sake of emphasis here you can call it a hyperbole also or hyperbole as well for example till rising and gliding out my out i wandered off by myself there are eight lines in the poem with no st stanza break free verse is a type of poetry that does not contain pattern of rhyme or meter this is a free verse poem with no strict rhyme or meter crossing brooklyn ferry this is another poetry that we are going to discuss this poem was written by walt whitman a great american poet Crossing Brooklyn Ferry is a narrative poem about spirituality and the ferry trip across the East River from Manhattan to Brooklyn. The same area later is known to be the Great and Famous Brooklyn Bridge. It was first published in 1856. The poem speaks about the unity of mankind. It also illustrates how everyone shares the same experience in this transient world. The poem explores connection between mankind and the world. It begins with a description of the natural object that the poet examines closely. It also observes the ferry as well as his fellow passenger from he considers whom he considers are the constituent of the united shelf of mankind first he sees them as the eternal impalpable sustenance a well planned scheme of the universe and believes himself to be a part of that whole to understand the very nature of his existence in the universe the speaker moves back and forth in time to establish a link between himself and the others he addresses the future generations and says that their experience on the blank bank would not be a wonder as often before as people before them had already enjoyed these pleasures then he expresses his profound love and attachment with the cities rivers and people as the poem continues the poet universalizes the ferry believing that his physical existence and his spiritual quest have become a ferry that ultimately connects to the human kind while talking about the existence of good and evil the poet the speaker explains that he has experienced both in life therefore a man should accept both pure and impure elements of life he then addresses the material objects and highlights their importance in man's life the poet also connects his sole message to the past and future generations highlighter of the poem a sonnet consists of 14 lines made up of three quatrains and one rhymic couplet tetrarima sorry tetrarima is a three lined stanza borrowed from italian poetry there are four three lined stanzas in the poem a sonnet the current rushing to swiftly and swimming with me far away 
and I stood all the neglect or negligent leaning of their flesh against me as I sat. Alteration. Here we find alteration. Who was to know what should come and saw the, saw the white sails the sooners and sloops saw the ships at anchor. Enjambment. What gods can exceed these that clasp me by the hand? And with voices I love call me promptly and loudly by my nighest names as I approach. Imagery. Closure yet I approach you. You have waited, you always wait. You dumb, beautiful ministers and cross from shore to shore, countless crowds of passengers. The poem has many rhetorical questions to emphasize the theme of the poem. For example, We understand then, do we not? Who was to know what should come home to me? And what is it then between us? Symbolism. Here, the ocean symbolizes continual movement. Land symbolizes the physical. Water symbolizes the spiritual movement of mankind. I hear America singing. This is another poetry. This poem is written by Walt Whitman. A renowned American poet, essayist, and journalist. I Hear American Singing is one of the best known poems from Liberation, about liberation. It was first published in 1860 in Leaf of Grass. The poem speaks about the happiness of people belonging to various professions. It illustrates how America offers them a place to live freely. Most importantly, the poem is written to acknowledge the work of common people to bring the dignity of labor. The poem shows individuality in the community as they live together while working in their fields. The poem is written to express the importance of every type of jobs. Also, the poet praises the American working class and acknowledges their significant role in American progress. It talks about the carpenter, woodcutter, masons, boatmen, and mechanics. He elaborates how they enjoy their work and play a pivotal role in the progress of the country. Even mothers, young wives and girls are expressing their joy as they also sing while performing their duties. Thus, every person is contributing individually to make America a happy place. A sonnet, the carpenter singing his as he measures his plank of beam. Consonance. The carpenter singing his as he measures his plank of beat. Alteration. Each singing what belongs to him or her and to move else. Imagery. The entire poem is imagery because it describes the activity of each working men and women. The readers can visualize each profession while reading. I hear personification. I hear America singing. The varied carols I hear. America is personified as if it can sing like a human. Symbolism. Singing symbolizes oneness, dignity, and freedom. The poem comprises only one stanza 
having 11 lines in it. This is a free verse poem with no strict rhyme scheme or metrical. Hello friends, we have completed entire details of Walt Whitman. So I wish you all have benefited from it. And if you wish to get notes in PDF form, then we provide the same. Please contact us. In the description, you will find all the details. Apart from that, if you want anything from us, please do let us know. And if you wish to join WhatsApp group, the number is provided in the description box. We wish you all the best for your examination. Thank you so much. And be with us every day at 7.30 p.m. We come with new videos for you all. Thank you.